All right, guys, today we're going to be playing Kale in the top lane. I'm going to show you guys a setup with Kale that you will never, ever see anyone do. It's going to be fun and it's going to be strong. For some reason, nobody plays with it. So let me just show you what uh, how good it is. So for the entire setup, you want to take Grasp. Wait, let me turn on the music real quick. You want to take Grasp. Demolish, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Alacrity, as well as Last Stand. You also want to take Attack Speed, AP, and Armor. So, the idea with the setup is that you're going to be in combat with the creeps a lot, and then you keep procking the grasp on your opponent like over and over and over again until you, um, until he becomes low enough and you can kill him. That's the idea. Now, it's especially good in this game because Aurelia is like completely auto attack based. It's all about her autos and bone plating. Definitely helps us a lot here. Also, it's very important to keep in mind if you're in a super hard matchup like this one, like the kill against Aurelia is actually extremely hard. Uh, it's important to keep in mind that you have to like hold the wave in this position here. If you push against Aurelia, you're dead. Procking it again, getting another grass proc. They have a Mumu Jungle, gotta keep this in mind. He's gonna go for it. Sidestep. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Rangar is able to get a free kill right now if he comes top side. He does not have a ward though. Okay, this is gonna be free for him. Nice try. Another one. Well, Rangar is about to get a free kill right here if he comes in. Oh, he's actually in a fight right now. Hopefully, he's not going to die out here. Okay, luckily this guy's staying. We're going to be building up the wave right now. We have to be very careful because our Rayleigh can easily jump on us right now and pull an entire combo. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. He's going to flash. She's going to die right here. We're very close to killing this guy. Like I said before, guys, our Rayleigh was going to all in right there. If I didn't flash that properly, she would have had me. Let me just quickly go back here. Get potions, a crunch award, and now we're gonna TP back. And once again, we're gonna be holding the wave in this position now. What's she gonna do? So the early game in this matchup, it's definitely hard. It's difficult. You should be expecting to lose this lane extremely hard in the early game. Very likely. But as soon as we like get level 6, get level 11, the further we go in this game, the more chance we have at like outscaling this guy and potentially like even outplaying him 1v1, right? But worst case scenario, Pale outscales Aurelia extremely hard, especially when you get Nash's tooth and stuff. Oh, I thought it was level 6 for a second. So. <clears throat> I'm going to build up, uh, build up this wave completely. Make it crash into the turret. Because we uh, our wave clear is pretty bad. If we were to push this right now, she would be able to freeze it. And by building it up, at least we stand a chance. Got to be careful about uh, a Mumu though. That's the stun, which means she can still kill us. She, she can still cure us if she wants to. If she gets the five stacks, she can. But now we're about to reach level six. Sidestep. It's very important to sidestep everything in this matchup. It's time to go back to base soon. We need like a hundred more gold. I'll just get this ward right now. It's... I can definitely bait for Rengar right now. 
We can get an instant free kill. Right now. Okay. Rengar is pathing towards the tribush. He should have been standing right there, actually. It would have been way better. Let's see if I can help him out. I'm here to help him out. He's going to win that one. Alright, sure. Sure. It's about time I'm going to be holding the wave here. There's no ward down here. I'm pretty sure we could have killed uh, killed this Aurelia if Rengar actually walked into the to the tri bush, oh, I mean the, to the normal bush. All right, time to proc this thing over and over and over again. I don't even think we have to. Yeah, we don't even have to use my R. I was actually waiting to press my R, but. It appears that we don't even have to. Nice. Time to go back to base. We have to uh, reset it first, though. Yeah. Unfortunately. She's going to be holding it. I highly doubt we can... We might actually be able to kill her, though, because Rengar's still here. Okay, her W's down. Well, we got this guy. I would appreciate like a little bit of help from Rengar to reset this lane. Good. He can help with the next wave as well, so I can get out of here. Uh, I really does not have TP, so it's not an issue, but if we can push this with Rengar, it can be a lot faster. Also, I certainly don't mind, like, sharing my XP with this guy. Good. Time to go back. So, I'm going to be putting my points to my Q right now. This matchup is going to change. It's going to be a favorite for me now. We will go for Berserker's Grease as the first item. But you're definitely going to need that if you want to kite down this guy. Um, also, we're going for uh, this item directly. Recurve Bow because it has like 15 physical damage on hit. It's pretty OP in the early game. Looks like this man is actually like pushing it as quickly as he possibly can. Which is understandable. If he does so, I can freeze it here. Also, one more thing, if you actually want to see the entire full build in this game, I'm going to leave that down into the description below, so don't forget to check that out, guys. Alright. Now it's time we build up this wave. Uh, I'm assuming that Amumu is going to be topside soon. Okay. Uh, she knows. She knows that Felkas is here. Yeah, this has always been an interesting matchup, guys. If you play against a kill against Aurelia, she just she just hundred percent counters you in every single way. This is how the matchup works. But you can do lo lots of things against her. All right. We've been able to deny her like a little bit of a uh, little bit of XP here. And soon enough, we will start building up this wave. I have one more potion, which I will use very soon. I'm always currently bot lane, or I mean, pathing towards bot lane. Just want to get my grass proc in and backing up again. Let's nice try. Oh, wow. We've uh, we've actually got completely killed by this guy. Like, Aurelia hit absolutely nothing. Her She missed her E. She missed her R. She missed her W. We're, we literally got killed by a single 
combo by Zoe. Huh. Quality. That's quality right there. A 6 and 0 oh Zoe right now. Alright. We don't kill this guy right now. He's good. We don't have R, but we can try to do something. Yeah, we can't do anything. Okay, we gotta get level 11 soon. Aurelia is still there. Taking a jungle camp? No? I actually thought he was doing it. Okay. We're gonna go on a journey of life farming. Uh, we're soon when we get level 11, uh, the matchup is gonna be easy for us. Or, well, a lot easier for us. Push out this wave. Aurelia is currently here. She thinks that I'm backing off, so she's pushing. She has blade already. This is going to be tricky now because she has blade. Okay. So he's coming topside again. Ah, oh, you kidding? You kidding, man? You gotta be serious. You gotta be serious, man. This guy's like 7 I know. If he comes my, into my lane, I'm dead. Celestial justice guide my blade. Well, I can't play my lane right now because the Zoe is sitting on my lane. And my R doesn't really work against her either. Okay, I'm glad she's back mid. Okay, we need one more level and then we're level 11. Unfortunately, I've only been able to proc my grasp like a few times in this game, like 18 times in total. This is just because I'm playing like 1v2 currently against Zoe. We also can't really uh, all in this Aurelia that much through the early game. She can easily kill me right now, so I can, o I can only stay here. Nice. Hold it off. Let's push it out. Okay. Sure. I can sustain that back with my potion and my W. Yeah, she's trying really hard to stop me, but it's not going to work. Good. We need one more wave. Maybe two at most. Also, I'm getting my item in like 200 gold, which is going to make a huge difference too. Good. Now it's time to go back. So to get out of this lane. Nice. I'm pretty sure Zoe's coming top lane again. Nice. Let's get the blue trinket. This Zoe is now 9 and 0. All right. Man, this this guy's like dying constantly over and over. He's there's a there's a big fat like four level difference in this lane right now in in mid lane. Farm out this camp as well. We're just going to be rotating camps right now. This guy's probably going to be freezing out. He doesn't freeze out from what it seems. Nice. Did 
This guy's going back to base. Oh, he's trying. He's going to try to 1v1 me. Thank you for the ward. So he's here again from what it seems. <clears throat> She's here all the time. Even a TP coming from this guy. He got a sheen from what it seems. It's got like a slight lead over me because of the platings. Oof, he got away with like, oh, really? Like 30 HP? Oh, wow. But yeah, like I said, guys, once you get to level 11 with Kale, you can just outplay this guy. It's not a really a problem anymore. Like, now the fun begins. He doesn't, he doesn't do anything. Pushes out. I'm always probably coming top set. It's very likely I'm always going to be here soon. But I'll see if I can... Ooh, this guy actually got caught right now. Nice. Uh, I don't know what the movie's going to do, but I'll help him out. Okay, sure. I mean, we haven't really got anything off. Instead, I just took his farm. Uh, but it's okay. It's fine. We're going to rotate back top, taking all the camps here. So we're not going to lose anything. Also, I really got a turret, which doesn't really matter to me. Was well, not the best trade-off, of course, but it's it was good. Nearly got to kill the Mumu. We're getting all the camps in the jungle here as well, pushing us ahead of this guy. Time to get a Rift Maker. This is going to make a huge difference in the game. Let's see if I can roam down ball lane there. We got my whole team down here. Aurelia is currently on top side. If uh, Pike actually ran towards me, I would have helped him out. Not exactly sure what he was thinking. Why he would run the other way around. Okay. Fun experience. One, uh, one ability that's like half of my entire HP bar. Okay. That, uh, the Zoe is, uh to be a problem because the CC alone does like half my, my health my health bar right now. Meanwhile, I'm really a top side farming this out. We can just catch her. These guys will get him. Nice. Got the kill on Aurelia. She got a turd once again, though. Well, the snowballing is going to begin right now. This is what's going to put us ahead. Use my Demolish, which I haven't been able to use yet this game. Hey, this guy's actually here instead of the dragon? Wait, what? Seriously, Fane and Lulu are topside while these guys were taking a dragon. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah, we're definitely going to win this game. We're outscaling these guys really hard right now.
Try to go back to base, get my Rift Maker, and then we start grouping around my team. I'm thinking about going for uh, Zonias in this game. Uh, because against Aurelia, we, we're going to need this. Also, I think Zonias against Zoe is going to help a bit. Not too much, but it's going to help a little bit. Time to go together with the team. They're getting kills from what it seems. There you go. Getting the assist for it. Nice. Aurelia's bot lane, like, farming it out currently. Very interesting. She's just splitting, like, all day. But her build... She hasn't even... Oh, yeah, she'd actually get boosted. Okay, sure. Got another catch. We could get the turret in mid right here, right now. I actually want to get the blue buff. I'll just help him out. I think we could maybe trap them here. Oh, I actually have no going for it. Okay. It's time to go back to base again. We're going to be uh, grouping around my team. We're going to force everything now. We've got a bunch of assists in this game. We got absolutely no kills, but we got like a bunch of assists. All right. It's mainly because every time we uh, we participate in something, they always take the kill, so... I'm gonna push mid lane, got TP up in like 40 seconds, we can use that to split push as well. Let's take a look, something's about to happen in mid lane. Falcus is overextending a little bit. Here we go. Ooh, I tried to like R him. Couldn't get him. I tried to kill uh, Vayne as quickly as I possibly could. And then trying to focus like flashing out of Aurelia and the other guy and just going straight for a little but uh, They actually burst me. Unfortunate. Uh, I tried to ult Pike before he died. I was I was about to click on him and then the auto from Pain actually killed him. But this guy's actually really tanky. We are about to reach level 16, guys. You all you all, you know what that means, man. Let's go bot lane. Dragon spawns in one minute though. All right, dragon in one minute. We have to prepare this one. Would be best if we could go split top, but it's not worth going there right now. We have to trap them. Perfect trap right here. I'm pretty sure they will eventually pass, but only if the dragon's alive. Glad it saved him. Nice. Woo. Alive. Calculation, you know? Calculation. I'll be uh, pathing towards top right now, getting every single jungle camp and then uh, backing up with a new item. That was perfect. Saved up Ringer as well. Getting the dragon too from the from this one. Nice. 
Now it's going to be fun because we are now level 16. I'll take one more uh, one more wave and then we are back enough afterwards. Nice. Good. Kind of back off. We're getting ourselves ready for the final fight right now. And we have Zhonyas to save ourselves. We're about to get our perfect teleport. Uh, I'm going for Void Staff for now. Perfect teleport. Here we go. Nice. Thank you. Got my ultimate ready as well. I got this guy. I don't even have to press my R for that one, to be honest. We can do Baron right now. <laughs> right. 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 Yep. That's uh, one ability. One ability. And that's 90% of my HP bar. Let's go bot lane. We're back at full HP. Okay. Lulu has ultimate up probably. She has like a lot of ability haste right now. I don't have my TP so I don't want to stay bot lane for too long. Actually I want to get my void step like as soon as possible right now. Get this camp real quick. Get this one. Nice. To be human, to be nearly level 17 right now. I mean, near level 18, I mean. All we have to do now is just go mid lane, push it out, go Baron, and finish it fast. Wait, what happened? Oh, she flashed. All right. Here we go. Aurelia is coming right behind us right now. Ooh, could have killed her. Let's try. This skill is going to be very important, so I'm flashing for it. If we get this kill, we can do the Baron afterwards. Still have my Zhonyas, though. I've never. We can kill Vayne with like four auto attacks. <laughs> we just kill Vayne with four auto attacks, guys. Easy. No problem. Let's try. I was actually hoping not to use my R, but he came pretty close. Nice. I got this item now. Now all we need is to get a Rabidans, and then we're done. The fire that illuminates Ooh, we're level 18 right now. This uh, Amumu is level 12. Wow. Very surprised, to be honest. Okay, there's probably a ward down here.
Oh, there's gonna be another fight. Nice. Perfect. All we have to do now is just push mid lane, probably just finish the game here. We're just we're definitely strong enough. Alright. Wow. Huh. <laughs> when you get hit by Zoe, it's over, man. Like you're you're instantly dead. Oh, here we go again. I can die in like one second right now if, if she only hits once. There we go, he'll it. Ooh, she she actually got alive. Out of out of this. All right. I thought we killed her. Ah, oh, whatever. I need rabbit. Him. I'm gonna have to push next one. Oh man, I I thought we killed her. I thought we killed the other guy, but I guess I made a mistake. That wasn't the case. But she's definitely strong. We we actually need something to reduce her healing. A little bit. She heals a lot from uh, from Lulu as well as the Life Susceptor. Hopefully my team could buy something against this. Because I actually want to go for Rabin right now. I'm considering more and more of just going for um, going for the orb. So this would counter it super hard. But if I go Rabidans, I'll have like so much damage. I think I could kill Vayne with like two auto attacks if I go for Rabidon right now. Three at most. Nice. Nobody in this team has something to counter her yet. Nobody. Could maybe kill this guy. I have given up everything for the love. Okay. <laughs> We've got Zoe right here. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Two point seven K HP. I couldn't Zarnia. I couldn't use it because it was on a tiny second quarter and I tried. All it took was one. One ability, guys. I'm I'm definitely not surprised why the entire community hates this champion, man. Like makes perfect sense. If you play against it and she gets this fed, it makes common sense, man. All right, dragon spawning in 50 seconds. We need like 400 gold more. Let's go. 35 seconds. They should not get the th the four dragon. Ima imagine Zoe with a four dragon, guys. Whoops. Two hundred fifty gold. The fire that illuminates also cleanses. Ranger is getting a kill. Or not? Ooh. Oh, he's actually dying. Got it. Ooh. 
Ooh, oh, she took it. Are you serious? Are you serious? Her Q does so much damage. It just steals everything, man. What? All right. All right. All right. She just hits from so far, so far away. Oh, man. It's so unfortunate. Like, Rengar could pod there. He's going in completely on her own. Oh, I'm on his own. Let's go for Rabidim. Here we go. Finally got the damage. We have so much AP right now. Look at this. Our damage is going to be incredible right now. Really? Amumu is going in there and Zoe lands a CC on me. Uh, are you kidding? Well, my team is going to win this one. Amumu is dead currently. Rengar just needs to get like one jump off. Unfortunately, I can't do anything against Zoe right now. Like she just instantly pops me. Wow. I got so many assists this game at 20 assists. I think this game is probably over. Let's see. Wow. Well, they, 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 do, they do way too much damage right now because of those uh, dragons. Unfortunately, we are losing this game, guys. We had like 20 assists in this game. I, I think I've never got that many assists before as a top laner, man. I, that's, that's a lot. Let's actually see the damage you've done in this game. Let's take a look. You've done a total of 28k damage. It's just that we're playing as a Zoe who is already like extremely fat through the whole game. As to why it was so difficult. Because this champion basically counters us very hard. But either way, the runes for this, unfortunately we've only, we've only done a total of like 910 with grabs. Usually it's like twice as much, but... Because of the uh, counter matchup, Aurelia, and the fact that we've got camped by Zoe in the whole game, definitely made it more rough. But either way, good setup, guys. I recommend this. Uh, anyways, this game was being played live on stream, guys. If you guys want to see me play live, you should consider checking out the description below the video, guys. Uh, also, thank you for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.